Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. In this video you guys are going to see a rescue mission. This is the aftermath of being out of commission for two days. I was sick and I'm still recovering but I wanted to do some five minute room rescues just to kind of pull the house back together and this time I included my kids. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna play a game. This game is called Five Minute Room Rescue. So this is how we play. I'm gonna set a timer on this TV for five minutes. And we're going to put all of our energy into making one area as beautiful as we can until the timer runs out. Okay, and then when it's done, Either we are done cleaning it or the timer runs out. We will all stand in the middle, put our hands together, and then shout, Room Rescue! And then we will move into the next room. I don't want to do it either. You don't want to shout Room Rescue? But that's the best part. Okay, you guys won't shout Room Rescue. I will go into the middle of the floor and I will go room rescue and you guys will just look at me and then we'll move into the next room and try again. Oh Types of activities include picking up your toys. Do you understand what I If there's something that belongs in another room, putting it away. Um, in the kitchen when we get in here, if somebody wants to sweep, wiping a table. That's the main type of stuff we're gonna be doing is just putting stuff back and if you see like dirt and stuff, we're gonna sweep it and wipe it away. Are you guys ready for your first five minute room rescue? Not really? Me neither, let's get it done. We'll start in the living room. All right, let's put the camera up and let's get in the living room. All right, let's go, go. All right, so in just a moment, you guys are going to see some of that mama bear come out don't be alarmed. I know on other channels you might be used to people acting like their kids want to participate every time. I don't have those kids and a great majority of you don't either. But it's an important value that I want to instill in my kids that when you live in a home, you help with taking care of it. It's not fair for one person to do all the work. So we all pitch in so that it's less work on everyone and it also gets done faster. So after we had our little conversation during round one, the kids definitely, their attitudes improved, which I was very happy about. I also think it's the fact that I tried to make it fun, you guys. You see the little Santa Claus dancing back there? And it was also just for five minutes. So I think they started to realize that this wasn't as difficult maybe as they thought it would be in their mind, which um, makes me happy. But y'all are here for Vlogmas, right? Real life. I have to shout, room rescue! Now we're gonna do it again, but over here. Where's the overview? Five minute room rescues are my go-to strategy when I feel like I am doing crisis cleaning. They just, I don't know, something about breaking this stuff down into little sections and then making sure that it's a short amount of time keeps me from burning out and it makes me feel like encouraged. Five minute room rescues are awesome because they keep you from focusing on full blown decluttering projects and they're just an easy way for you to see like a transformation in the room without fully burning yourself out and exhausting yourself. I also like that it is a way for me to just touch up the whole house instead of like hyper focusing on one area and then feeling like, well, great, I got this part of the house clean, but the rest of the house is a mess. So um, this is one of my favorite strategies whenever I just feel like we just need to have like a reset, a refresh and getting the kids involved definitely feels like it allowed those five minutes to uh, go a little bit further than what I can do on my own. All right. Ho, ho, ho. Stop. Everybody stop. What do you do 
you after we clean the room. Room. We shall. Room. Rescue. Kitchen now. We're not gonna finish the kitchen in five minutes, but we're gonna try our darn best. All right, so now we are moving into the kitchen. This area definitely needs a lot of love. And before we got started, I went ahead and just pre-framed my children's expectations. I just let them know that, hey, we're not gonna get this done. And that's not the goal of this. The goal is not to finish, it's just to make it better. And so it was funny because during one part of this, um, we were just running out of time and I shouted, we'll never make it. And my son reminded me of what I just said. He was like, mom, that's not the purpose of this. We're just trying to make it better. So I love that because it just helps me um, feel like I'm not teaching my kids that you know there's no point in starting if you can't get it done. There's always point a point in making something better. So um, I was not able to get to the dishes, but my husband, he did work on the dishes after we completed this. So that made me feel very happy. And so the kitchen did, was able to be completed after our final right rescue. Yes. Ah. 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 No. Ah. All right, all right, we're done. Ready? Room rescue. I'm just we're done with this room. We can't do. All right. So the last thing that I just want to talk about is whenever you allow your kids to participate, please give them like all the grace. Like I know y'all saw me griping at them at the beginning and that was more for participation and not necessarily for how good or bad of a job that they're doing. Um, this is a learning process for like all of us. And so I just want to encourage you guys to, you know, if they're not doing a great job, they're not being thorough, just try not to like crush their self-esteem. I want to believe that, you know, just with time, they'll kind of figure things out. The more that I encourage them to come participate with me, the more I can just point little things out here and there and that over time they'll grow. So that's a huge goal for me is to have them participate in these like little rescues more often. Um, and after, you know, going through this process with them, I feel like it would be helpful if we could even do this, um, every Saturday or every Sunday, um, just so they can just learn that this doesn't have to be a complicated process. And then it will also help them build their skills up. Up until this point, they've been picking up their toys, but I'm definitely going to expand their responsibilities in this area. Done! Up done! Room rescue! Out of all the rooms that we worked on today, I think this one was by far the worst um, because this is where I lie in, on my deathbed for the last several days. I'm just joking. It was more like one day. And um, so, yeah. So I'm just keeping my focus on picking up things that are not supposed to be in here, things that are not in their right place. Um, I like to make my bed because I feel like that makes this whole process easier and it makes it easier to see what's on the floor. I'm not venturing into decluttering projects and I'm not trying to make everything perfect. I'm just trying to make it better. You don't get to see somehow, I, I think I cut this clip out, but I was able to finish making the bed, but the main emphasis is just the clutter. Just get the clutter out the room and get it under control and we can worry about the rest later. All right, moving into the last frontier. You guys did not get to see the bathroom craziness and all of its glory because my husband kind of got a head start on it while I was working in the room. So same thing here. I'm gonna go ahead and get the girls' laundry into my little rolling laundry cart, which I love so much, um, so that I can get some laundry going this weekend. You guys already know my struggles with this closet. So, especially with my girls always trying to help me, like it just gets messy really easy. So I'm just trying to pull everything back where it's supposed to go, put the laundry basket in. And um, so that's that, you know, get the clutter off the counter, 
So that's that. That's my morning of five minute room rescues. Let's see, we did the living room, we did the dining room, we did the kitchen, we did the office, we did my room, and we did my bathroom. So that's about 35 minutes of work. And I feel like that really made a difference in just transforming the way that my home felt to me and it just made things feel more comfortable. And now I feel like I'm in a place where I can go back to doing my normal routines, my normal zone cleaning, and my normal weekly home blessing-like activities. Um, so thank you guys for watching Vlogmas Day 11. I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, say bye guys. Say bye guys. Bye guys.